Welcome to the Wolf Den. This is Captain Dave. And we are going to open this box all the way from Japan. EMS delivery from Japan. It's almost faster than getting something from Ohio to Florida. So welcome to the Wolf Den. This is going to be the opening and official unboxing of Shimano Triton-like reels, which are JDM, Japanese domestic market. All right, here we go. Let me pull out all my paperwork. Not that it matters. They did a very good job. I got these off of eBay. And it's a consignment or reseller or something. I don't know. We don't have those kind of places in the United States, that's for sure. That deal in high-end tackle. That sell other people's stuff. Oh yeah, I can read the Japanese newspaper. The name of the store on eBay is Arigato Japan so there's one here's one without a box here's two Three in the box and one without. And let's take a look at the one in the box. Ad Adji Matic. Designed for professionals. That's what Shimano always uses as their kind of buzzword. Adji Matic 3000 EX. And what it is, is basically what we get over here as a Shimano Triton. You know by, if you visited my channel at all, you know I am a Shimano Triton freak guy. Paperwork, wrench, real, real bag. Old Arigato Japan as the name of the store. Packed up very well. And here's what got my thought right off the get-go. Is I believe these are mag controlled. Look at that. Yes, they tick. Eddie Watford. That's what Eddie Watford didn't like. Here's another thing I always love about Asian tackle. No Shimano in the United States does an automatic engage. Ball bearing drag system, two ball bearings. There you go, nice old school wooden handle. See it says, I'm having a hard time seeing folks because I'm still kind of one-eyed from my retina surgery. Automatic. Expandable handle. I think that, believe it or not. Look at that. You flick that and you can go back. Oh, I gotta make sure customers never do that on me. Let's get the American version. Let me pull out an American version and we'll look at the difference. All right, here's the ones that I use daily on my Ugly Stick Catfish Rods. These are not stock. Okay. These are not stock. I put these power handles on them. 
which is basically from a Shimano uh, Calcutta, the Triton G, the workhorse of my entire fishery. All right, so there you go. And there's the difference. A little beefier, a little nicer. Um, I can see right off the get-go. Quick access thumb screws here. The engaging is awesome. Absolutely awesome. All I'm going to do, and it looks like it's pretty well in there already, I really grease up this worm gear. Here's the thing that I didn't like about when they really brought these to the United States after a while. Um, see this? I'm trying to do a lot right here. Metal. You got metal right there. Here, it's plastic. Okay, that cap. You get constantly, I get customers wrapping line around that and then yanking on it and they'll split that plastic cap. This is a quality place here, this Aragatu Japan folks. I mean, they, they, uh, had it sort of set up where they didn't combine shipping right because they had these at two for sale and then two for sale and um i asked them well i wanted to do combined shipping and um it actually came back and said this seller does not do combined shipping well, I said, well, geez, come on, folks. I sent them a message and said, come on, give me, how about combined shipping since I'm buying all of these? And the first thing they did is sent me a, I got a PayPal um, notification that they uh, refunded me back $25. So they were very nice to work with. I believe I have possibly bought from them before. This is true tackle junkie stuff, folks. Ooh, this one's got like the tag still on it. Look at this. I don't even know what that says. Does anybody read Japanese? I did not pay any more for these than I did from buying the American version brand new oh my god this was this has to be one of my best finds on eBay folks you know I'm big into the JDM stuff because of the fact it all started with the Daiwa Ryogas that I have when you're a fan of the Shimano Triton 100G these this is like the pinnacle of it right here folks um, this is the pinnacle. Oh man, wood handle. There's the little Greek uh, oil ball bearing. You press in there and you let the oil in. This is amazing here. What do you do with that thing? Oh, you can back it up. That's good for when somebody run runs the line all the way into the spool, you know, when they break off and then they, oh, they wind it on in, and then all of a sudden the line lay gets out of sync with the level wind. So maybe you could go back and and get all that. Oh yeah. So look at that. Aji Magic. Aji Magic. Aji Magic. 3000 EX by Shimano. Oh. All right. Well, that's been the unboxing. Next, I'm going to spool these babies up with probably, I don't know, I think I spool them up with 50 pound braid. Here's what the greatest thing in the world is. This is what I don't understand about American companies. Why don't they take a big reel like this and make it auto engage? I don't understand why. This version right here, in the 200 category, this version right here, I've had, I got a buddy of mine who's caught in the 200, which is wider. 
He doesn't even put on power handles. I showed him the power handles and said, you ought to be putting power handles on that. 90-pound Wahoo. He's caught a 90-pound Wahoo on the 200 version of this, which just holds a little more line. Oh, my God. So, if somebody can catch a 90-pound Wahoo on one, that I'm pretty satisfied. So, all right. Well, there's the unboxing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Shimano JDM Junkie. Come on! I just figured something out here as I'm spooling up my new Ajimatic 3000 EX Shimano Reels. I looked on eBay. These were brand new with box except for one. And I'm spooling up right now with my Daiwa, or not, Dai, no, Daiichi Seiko from Japan spooling machine here that I did a video on years ago that I know one person who picked up on this spooling system right away, and that was Don over in England. He bought one. This thing is sits here permanently on my workbench. And I constantly use it. Here's something that I just found out. Now, when I pull this line, watch the spool if you can. The drag is set, but look at this back and forth. See that? Now, when I pull the line, it pulls off, but it's almost like the drag is kind of spring-loaded. Watch. Right? And then it pulls. Very, very different. Very different. Let's see if I'm going to put the camera right up against here. Now, I'm sorry, I'm doing all this one-eyed. Okay, but there you go. And then the drag. Now watch. I'm pulling back and forth. And it's just kind of spring-loaded. And then when I give it a good tug, it just lets go. Huh. Fascinating. And there was one of the tags that was on the spool. And it had line on it. And I think what that was is a, like a demo where you grab this tag and you go like that because the tag had mono wrapped along the, around the spool. Now, I don't know anything about, you know, I can't read the Japanese, but exact. I think that's exactly what that little tag was. And so you go, ooh, Ajimatic, Ajimatic. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just too damn cool. I don't know, maybe that's the... Let's turn it all the way up. And let's see if the spool still does that. Yeah, it still springs back and forth, and then it pulls. So that might... Look at that, watch. And then the spool just gives. Is that cool as shit or what? Huh. So. All right. Well, if I find anything else, I'll make an amendment to this video. But again, thanks for watching. And subscribe and share this because this is some cool stuff, folks. Wolf Den. Workbench. I get into it. Now, here she is. All done. First one on the Tiger Light Jiggin' Stick. Yes, sir. Now, who would you rather fish with? A completely ate up tackle junkie or some guy who just thinks 
tackle is just something you gotta have, and he's just way more interested in his deer rifle. Believe me, I'm picking the tackle junkie.